Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Black Mountain Stables. Just over here at the shop, picking up a uh, GPS kit for our small tractor. Got uh, some weeding to do, and I decided that it was probably best if uh, we picked up a GPS kit. Because crops come up, and it's kind of hard to see. So I wanted to uh, do as best a job as I could because this is the oat field for our horses. And I wanted to uh, you know, basically maximize the yield on that. So I wanted to make sure that I thoroughly de-weeded field. I'm going to come back here to the farm and see about uh, maybe putting that GPS kit on our tractor get it serviced up and fueled up and out here on our oat field uh, do a little weeding and I think we might uh, might have ourselves a load of soybeans we need to take off the market here in a little bit also and you may have already seen as we approach the farm got a couple new additions to the farm down here. Like I said in the last, uh, the last video, I'm thinking about putting in some harvestor silos for our bulk hay and straw. And we have done that now. See those over here? Go check them out here in a moment. There they are. Basically took down the uh, down the old barn, clean that up a little bit, and basically put the silos there. Let's go ahead and check these out. I've got one silo for straw, and I've got one silo for hay. Uh, we went ahead and shredded up the straw that we had in bales and put it here in this first silo. And then this silo is currently sitting empty, waiting on our grass field uh, to come to fruition. Low and uh, and dump our grass into there. We still need to get something to pick up our grass in bulk, as well as our straw in bulk. But uh, we've got some time on that. I wanted to go over here and see about putting our GPS kit on our tractor here. That taken care of. Good and Maintenance on this while we're already here. All right, now let's go ahead and see about fueling this thing back up. Truck out of the way a little bit. Take too much fuel. Go. Oh. Set the fuel pump down. Let's head on back here to the back. And uh, just check out our oat field, check out the weeds, and uh, see if we can't maybe get something done here. See those darn things. 
We are trying to take hold, but we are going to eradicate those little buggers. And it is just an infestation. I don't know what it is with this area and their weeds. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, it would be it would be good if I had the weeder with me. <laughs> oh, what happened there? when I went and uh, put on the GPS kit I guess I uh, unhooked the weeder and just uh, didn't remember alrighty now let's see if we can do ourselves a little better job up put her down now according to the directions I need to set a waypoint a I need to drive a bit I need to set a waypoint B and at that point I can lock in my steering and just go to town So, like I said, we're just going to work on weeding our feed field here, making sure that we have got everything going on. Yep, we are getting her weeded off. Got a little bit of weed growth over here on field 10 we need to take care of. Also, but everything else looks looks good so far. Probably going to take a fair bit of the rest of the afternoon. It's a warning that we are coming up to the end of the row. it in. Off we go. So guys, if uh, if you haven't updated your GPS, your guidance steering mod, uh, go out there and update it. So uh, around uh, February 18th, I think, there was an update to guidance steering that included uh, some of these sound effects that you're hearing. So it kind of kind of helps you know that you've locked in uh, the course and that you're coming up to the end of the field and everything. It's a pretty good update. Pretty pretty good added, you know, functionality to everything. Neighbor farm there. Looks like he's got some potatoes in. I suspect he is going to need our help to bring that field in. Um, I think the I think the harvest doors work pretty good here on the farm. I think they look great. Kind of spaced them out a little bit. I didn't want the triggers to interfere with each other. I didn't want to uh, think I was dumping in one, but then real actually end up dumping in the other. I think, 
I might personally change the uh, the key binding, which uh, when you lock your steering in, it's it's Alt X. I think I might personally change that over to Alt W, which is what uh, what it was for the old GPS mod, just for the, for the sake of uh, you know that's what I'm fairly used to doing in 17, and I find myself hitting that a lot. And obviously nothing happening here in uh, in 19. Build of oats looks mighty mighty fine once we get these darn weeds out of here. Something else that I'm rather rather happy with is the growth growth control mod um, remember I set growth control to 24 hours for most of these crops and I think grass is on a little different cycle basically each game day there is a growth um, change so it goes from basically every six hours where there's a, a change in growth state um, four times a day so that's literally you could plant in the morning of the first day and you could be harvesting uh, by midday second day to now it's going to take four to five days uh, between plant and harvest which is going to work out fairly well for us going to make us have to produce a little bit more food per harvest cycle to take care of our animals but it also means that we're going to be able to do other things we're not going to feel like we're just always harvesting and planting and everything here on the farm we're going to be able to explore up in the hills we're going to be able to take a day off and do some forestry and not feel like uh, you know we're we're leaving our fields fallow or we're, we're not uh, running risk of our crops withering and things like that we can take our time and we can we can do manure and we can do slurry and not be worried uh, that our fields are going to be you know, churning through a whole bunch of different states while we are taking our time to do those actions so this a few times but what do you all think of the series are you all enjoying it um, still interested to know if you all have some ideas as to uh, other things we can do here on the cow farm or over at the horse farm or up in the woods you no know? I've got a rustic horse building I want to put in up there I think I need a little bit more money in order to do that. Let's see what that thing's going to cost me. Basically, I've got a horse stable, $45,000. So I could put that in now. Um, we need to find a clearing up there. Probably going to need to clear some trees out of the way, which will help offset the cost, of course. But for the storyline, then the horse stable that we're building up there. Uh, we're going to use when our when we have guided and paid tours, uh, especially overnight guests up in the uh, up in the cabin. Then basically we have a place to house our horses up there in the woods, or in the hills, I should say. is kind of the idea behind that. I have to say I feel really really fortunate to have um, such talented 
um, folks that are part of my Discord channel and that are so uh, like-minded, I guess, to to things that I'm thinking about or things that I'm thinking about wanting to do. Uh, sometimes I just make a, a off-the-wall suggestion. And next thing I know, I'm seeing uh, screenshots of things in progress. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's great. It's kind of where the um, <clears throat> that logging building came from, if I understand right. It's uh, where the horse building came from, I think, and a few other things. So I really feel, really feel great about that. really feel gracious. And uh, all the modders everywhere... So bang up job uh, we really need to appreciate them a whole lot more uh, they end up getting a lot of grief a lot of well if you done it this way or why couldn't you done it that way or or this or that but you know what it's their creations we are just the fortunate lucky ones that get to uh, get to make use of them as well as themselves you know they don't have to uh, they don't have to release this stuff so we should just be happy and you know it means are spreading be getting a southerly breeze that is blowing the weeds down across the field it's like by the time we get done field five we're gonna have weeds fully in field nine and ten and possibly even Field seven, so I think that's what we're just gonna have to uh, be doing for the rest of the afternoon is weed troll, possibly into tomorrow morning also. I might bump the weed factor up a little bit. I'm not sure where I had uh, set it at. I might go in and I might bump it up a little bit, get a little longer. Uh, Longer cycle between uh, between weeds. And and so what we're going to do is when we get down here at the end of the field. What we're going to do is we're going to hire some help. Get Patrick to do this job for us. Because I want to take some soybeans over to the ranch, actually. If we can't get uh, $36,000 for soybeans. And uh, we might haul a load of uh, canola also off to the grain elevator. Some money there. See, we've got 48,000 liters of straw in our one harvest store. Which one looks like it holds, um, what, one million liters? Is that what I'm reading that right? I think that's maybe a little, a little over quoted, overstated as far as capacity goes. But, uh, okay, we'll go with it. Clump of dead trees up there. Not on our property, but uh, it's not good. You get a clump of dead trees like that, and then you get a thunderstorm. And you could uh, end up yourselves with a, a forest fire. a whole lot better now that we've got the weeds out of it. Look at that over there. That is just awful. Patrick's wife is taking care of that job. Of course, we're going to run over here and grab our truck. I think it's already hooked up to the uh, trailer. We'll just go ahead and check. Yep, it's already hooked up. Got the red dot. Swing on 
one over here. Six thousand liters. It's going to be pretty much just a whole load. No, we only have thirty some thousand liters. Oh, wait. No, we have fifty some thousand. I'm going to take the. Uh, I was going to take the soybeans to the ranch and the cola to. Uh, Nola was going to go off to uh, grain elevator. One mod that would be cool if it came over from 17, there was a, uh, a manual cover mod where you'd have to get out and go to the trailer to, uh, to cover up your tarps and close your lids and things. That would be pretty cool if that came over to uh, the 19. What are some other mods that, uh, that haven't made its way over yet that y'all would be liking to, uh, like to see? Pass. Or superior horsepower. Asset car. Checking some other fields out here. on. Move it. Oh. I'm too excited. Trying to get them to move out of the way. In turn in time. raised cell points that came from uh, came from 17. I really don't like these raised cell points with respect to belly dump trailers because well they end up they end up causing issues in my opinion more than they uh, more than they're aesthetically pleasing. guys if you are interested in playing this map and you haven't started yet uh, there's been an update download the update over at FSUK or American Eagles modding basically some subtle tweaks here and there and most notably is the uh, mini map has the roads up in the woods marked a bit clearer I haven't updated the mini map or uh, the map from the version that we started with uh, simply because we've done some landscaping and a few other things and I just, uh, just don't want to risk running afoul with some of those things so I'm just willing to, uh, to basically put up with a couple of the floaty objects that we found and a few of the other aspects just for the sake of not running the issues with respect to the landscaping functions uh, 
that we've done. Soybeans in here. Just gonna fill up this whole front section. A little bit here in the back. This is gonna go out to the ranch. So I left the cell point out the ranch. I didn't bother taking it out. I didn't bother with. Uh, Trying to relocate it or anything. This truck's got a few extra cameras to it, so that's what we were doing there. Just trying to cycle back into the in cab view. On our blinker. Totally roll through that intersection. We're back. Making money pretty good. Oh, well. Sliding the fifth wheel around a little bit. I think I took the turn that shallow, but at any rate. We're back in the money pretty good. We had uh, 260000 or something before we put the harvest stores down. Well, that knocked us down to about sixty grand. I uh, see we're going to be well over 120000 probably by the time we're done selling our soybeans here. Stark difference from January back when the we had the, the grind of uh, Riverview. Man, that was uh, that was a struggle to make money. I said it before; it almost seems like it's too easy now to make money, even on the hard economic difficulties. Sides. Back around here. I take out our fence. Anything? I'm gonna head back to the farm, park our truck, and uh, pick back up our weeding. Guys, I want to thank you for coming out and watching today's video. Uh, please go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the video. Know what you think of the series. Uh, what kind of ideas do you have, maybe for uh, for more jobs here on the series, more things to get done? We keep rolling in the dough. We might uh, expand our land holdings a bit. That is for sure. Really don't have an end game. We really don't have a uh, master plan of what we're trying to achieve here on the map. But like I, was, like I think I alluded to um, previous video. Not really sure how many episodes we've got left of the series. Not really getting tired of the map. 
but uh, at the same time, um, without seasons, it's a whole lot of wash, rinse, and repeat, and everything. But growth control that kind of helps extend some things. Sure. Until next time, guys. Happy farming.